Good morning. It is July 27th, I believe. I wanted to do a little garden update. It's early in the morning and everything's looking nice and fresh. It rained last night or yesterday. Um, these roses I have and these um, urns or containers, they're I keep spraying them and they keep getting, um, I forgot what it's called, but they're struggling. They look really pretty in the spring and then I feel like the rest of the season they just don't do so well. So I'm thinking of removing them and replacing them with something else, but for now I still have them in there. My echinacea is doing wonderful. I have to remove these two flowers and dry them for tinctures later. This vine, I keep trying to get it to grow up, but it's just like a clump on the bottom. <laughs> um, I have a mum there, another rose, which when it blooms it's pretty, but it's kind of messy right now. This window box is doing well. This um, dahlia is getting ready to bloom. It's so pretty. And then basically same thing as the other side. Strawberries, I'm getting a little bit here and there, um, but they're kind of little right now. I don't see any. The rabbits and squirrels have been getting in here and helping themselves. <laughs> but I did cut off a lot of runners the other day, so hopefully I can um, transplant those and get a lot more strawberries. This, I be believe, is mandarin bomb, like lemon bomb, but... I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. It smells so good. And my sage is doing well. I have to cut some more and dry it off or dry it out. Um, it's good for the chickens. I have to put in their coop or on their coop. So that's what I'll be using it for. I don't really use it for cooking. And then over here, I have a mix of these big leaves are loofahs, loofah vine. And these smaller ones are my... Um, I'm going blank this morning. I haven't finished my coffee. <laughs> it is moonflowers. And so they're kind of all tangled up. I tried to keep them separate, but as you can tell, they've just, they just became friends and are all together. But as you can see, here's a loofah growing and over there. And I think I might have a couple more. I have a lot of pretty yellow flowers, um, but I'm so excited. This is my first time growing it, so I hope it works out. At least if I get one, I'll be happy. <laughs> and so over here I have some potatoes. It's kind of a mess. And then I realized the other day that a bunny had made a little nest in here. So I don't know if there's baby bunnies in there. I would just notice every time I'd come out here, a bunny would jump out of here. And I was like, I would come over and be like, what is it eating? And nothing, everything looked fine. And then the other day I realized that uh, the drip was chewed through over here and some of the potato stems were chewed through as well. So I repaired that and hopefully it didn't disturb it too much. I hope the mama's co mama comes back. I haven't noticed it recently, but. So maybe I'll have baby bunnies in the garden. And then over here is my sorrel. I believe that's how you say it. Um, it's obviously gone to seed, but I just left it in there for now. Over here, some chamomile, some more sorrel i think that's how you say it correct me if i'm wrong um i'm used to saying it in russian so i'm not sure what it's called <laughs> or how to pronounce it these are some volunteer tomatoes i just left in here because i didn't have anything planted and i haven't staked them i haven't pruned them they've just gone wild and so it's kind of like a big mess but i'm getting a couple little tomatoes so it'll be surprised to see what they are and over here i have some chamomile this one's kind of seems like it's done blooming well these are also the same roses i have in the other pots and same thing with these i keep spraying them and pruning them and they're just i don't know i don't love this variety i believe they're the driftwood no maybe not i have to see if i can find a tag but i'm not happy with them and then moving on to this bed so over here you probably can't tell but i have a little cucumber this was one that was left over in a container or like uh, the growing um, 
container yet for a long time. I know where to put it and then finally I just stuck it in here. I felt so bad for it. And see there's a little bloom, so hopefully it'll produce some cucumbers. This might be a butternut squash. I'm not sure. This was, I believe, a volunteer I dug out of one area and put it in here because this is an empty spot. And then over here I have peppers. These were some that I had left over in pots and some that were along the pathway over there that the bunnies kept chewing down so I replanted into here and that's why it's been such a late late start for me usually I have a couple peppers by now but since the bunnies kept chewing them they're just now coming up and thankfully they're doing well I have a couple baby peppers and then I have four tomatoes in here and again I haven't staked these I haven't pruned them and I don't know if I will or if I'm just going to let them do their thing. We'll see. Kind of an experiment because I usually am always pretty good about pruning and making sure they're staked up. But we'll see what happens. And then over here I have a uh, eggplant that also didn't have a, area, a spot to put it in. So I stuck it in here. And so the rest are peppers. And over here we also I have some of that mandarin lemon mandarin balm I believe it is over here is chicory which oh yes lemon balm mandarina that's what this is over here is chicory I've never grown this before um, but I've read some good things about it so I wanted to try it out and over here is a little sad little chamomile which also I had in its original container or pot for a long time so poor thing has been struggling this side we just have some regular lemon balm this is called a toothache plant um, also something interesting that I wanted to try growing for herbal or medicinal uses over here is some parsley some more sage that is Mexican mint marigold I believe it's called also for medicinal uses um, I did dry a lot last year. I haven't used it yet, so I don't know if I'm going to harvest this one or not or just let it bloom and do its thing. And then just some lavender and this is thyme, I believe. Moving on over here, I have two eggplants in the corners. In the middle is also a Roma tomato, which again, I didn't have a spot for, so I just stuck it in here. I harvested a few onions from here and then um, again, some more the lemon balm mandarina. And these are just a couple onions that were in the compost pile that started growing. So I pulled them out and we'll see if anything happens with them. I did have a pepper here, but I think the bunnies chewed it down. So this doesn't really belong here. Nothing here yet. And over there, I planted some onions, which I bought at Lowe's and had in, um, and I kind of forgot about them, like little onion bulbs. And then I found them and a lot of them looked like they were dead or dried out and I just tried to plant them and they grew. So I'm happy to see that. Over here, as you can tell, I have, this isn't butternut squash, this is honey nut squash. So they're smaller than butternut. Um, and so I'm excited, this is my first time trying to grow it this year and it seems to be doing pretty well. I've got a few of them on here. I love having them on this trellis because you can really see as to where when they're on the ground, it's hard to tell where the fruit is, but they seem to be doing pretty well. And on this side, I have to, have to get that cucumber and give it to the chickens, but I had some leftover cucumbers that were in pots and weren't doing well, and I just stuck them in the ground to see what would happen. And they're kind of growing, but kind of not. So the other day I went through and just poked a few seeds in the ground. I didn't um, pre-sprout them or anything, some cucumber seeds, and we'll see if they'll come up. Maybe I'll get a second harvest of cucumbers this year. Over here I have some leftover, I believe this is the uh, red Russian kale. I've been picking at it and giving it to the chickens. My marigold has gone wild and it's beautiful. A couple tomato plants in here that are they're doing okay. Um, this is the, I believe it's the red acre cabbage. This one's pretty, this one. Some of them are looking a little beat up, but again, I've just left them in here to see what will come from them. This, I think, is a random tree that planted itself, and I've just kind of left it in there. I do have some borage right here. Again, my first year growing it, so I, it's just 
Some of it's looking a little sad and I'm not sure what's going on, but just letting it do its thing. And then some carrots right along here. And also a volunteer butternut squash. So I have two right there. And then one right down there. <laughs> okay, moving on to this bed. I have a couple of sad looking beets. These I planted later, I believe. I have harvest harvested quite a few from here and have some more that I can harvest, but I've just left them in there because I don't need to use them yet. This is, what is this? It's a great question. I forgot what this is. <laughs> I don't think I have a tag here, but it's also something, I believe medicinal or helps keep the pests away. Here's the chunk pink Chinese celery. Um, I have harvested a little bit and used for like broth. And as you can see, the marigolds are loving it. And then I have some carrots hidden in there and then the cucumbers. I have been picking at these cucumbers and I still have a couple to pick. So thankfully, this has been a great cucumber year. I did get pickle worms at one point and we had a lot of rains, I couldn't spray them, and then finally we had a couple dry days. And so I went through, sprayed it really well in the evening, obviously, so it wouldn't affect the bees. And thankfully it seems like that worked because I haven't seen any more um, holes in my cucumbers and hopefully it stays that way. But I'm so thankful for the cucumber harvest that I've had this year. And over here I have quite a bit of sad looking tomatoes. I have pulled a few out. These are mostly like my cherry small tomatoes and we've just been picking at them. Some will give to the chickens, some will snack on, but they've also kind of gone wild. And then just some basil plants underneath. Looking in through here, the flowers have kind of been a little wild and doing its thing, but I kind of like that whimsical look where it's just kind of, you know, just pretty but not perfect and just everyone does their own thing. <laughs> have some pretty dahlias. Such a pretty color. I love these. And the roses have been blooming here and there. I'll prune them but I think in the fall when it cools down they'll do a lot better but I'm thankful for these few little blooms we've been getting. Some more flowers. These are amazing. These are straw flowers. First year growing them. I don't know if you can hear. It's kind of hard because it's morning, but once they open up, they literally sound like straw, and I think it's the coolest thing ever. <laughs> okay. Moving on down this way. Basically the same thing on this side, just an array of flowers. I did stick some uh, kale in there because I didn't have any room in the garden, and unfortunately the cabbage moths or the whatever have gotten to them. And so again, I've just been picking them and giving them to the chickens. Let's move on through here. This is still a bit of a mess. Hopefully today or tomorrow we'll get to go and look at some pavers to put in here. Um, I have cardboard I need to cover up with mulch. I did have other things growing here, but the bunnies have been getting to them. So I stuck in some, um, eggplant over here and over there and these are just some I believe black-eyed Susan vines or something like that I had left over and just put them I did have peas but again the cute the rabbits kept eating them and so I just gave up and then over here I did have some flowers planted they're not doing so well so I think I might switch some things up or add a few more things the cabbage I had three they were doing well until the moths got to them cabbage worms, cabbage moths, I'm not sure what they're called. And so again, I've just been picking them and giving them to the chickens, which has all, honestly felt really nice because before, before I had chickens, I felt so bad getting rid of stuff or like, you know, throwing away produce. But now that I could give it to the chickens and then that'll turn into eggs, it just feels so much better and I feel like I'm not wasting it. And then my tomatoes, which are doing okay after the crazy rains we've had. I wanted to insert this video here because what happened was there was a week or two, I believe it was in the beginning of July, that we had some really crazy rains, like it was storming, like non-stop flooding, like crazy winds, 
And what happened is um, we had the crazy rains and extreme heat and basically all of my potatoes just rotted and cooked. We did till the soil, we added fertilizer and you know nutrients to it, but unfortunately it just wasn't enough and the soil wasn't raised up where my garden beds, they're raised up a little bit so the water had a chance to dry out. Where here is we have clay soil and even though I did add in all the fertilizer, it wasn't enough and so like 98% of my potatoes were gone. It was so devastating after all of that hard work. I, they looked amazing right before all the rain. And I don't know why I didn't think to go and harvest the potatoes the first day after it rained. I just thought, well, I'll dig them out as I need them. I don't want to harvest them all and then, you know, have to store them somewhere. And it was too late when I got to them. And I was just so discouraged. But you know what? It was a great lesson to me. I learned, I had to learn the hard way, but yeah, it was just kind of sad. And same thing happened to some of the tomato plants. Some of them did bounce back, but some, as you, you'll see here, um, they are looking a little bit rough. But you live and you learn, and this is just something that happened. I couldn't control the rain, but I'm thankful for what I was left with in the garden, and I just had to learn the hard way. Some of them have died back. Some of them are still producing. So I've got a couple here. Okay, let's go back this way. Just take a moment and look at these beautiful dahlias. They're so pretty. And then these pretty sunflowers. Over here I had potatoes but those rotted when we had the crazy rains so there's nothing there right now a couple random beets um this fig bush and then yeah some more tomatoes on this side this one fell over yesterday but it's fine and then we kind of got a mess going on over here i dug in front of the chicken coop the other day and extended the hardware cloth underground so this way nothing tries to dig and get underneath the coop. I will be doing that all around, but I just did it in the front for now. And I wanna plant some flowers and maybe some herbs just to make it look a little prettier. And then probably put some pavers in front of the door. And it's rained, so it's a big muddy mess right now. Um, but hopefully it'll look pretty in a little bit. And that's why I have these random pots and containers here. They were standing against the coop, but I moved them over. And eventually most of these things will be planted in the ground. And so same thing on this side, just some tomatoes that are looking sad, but I'm just leaving them for now. So hopefully they can ripen on the vine and then I'll pull them out. And then same here, I had potatoes growing, those all rotted. Put some roses in here the same ones that are in the other pots and again they're not doing so well so i don't know i feel bad throwing them out i don't want to maybe i'll just stick them in an area like in in the ground somewhere and see what happens and then this way if they die i won't feel so bad at least i gave them a second chance but i've i've realized if something doesn't make me happy or it's bugging me or is taking too much of my time and constantly having to try to fix it or make it better it's just not worth it because it's not pretty. When it blooms, it's pretty, but unfortunately the bugs have been getting to it. So even when the blooms open up, they're like really, um, like have a lot of little holes and just not so pretty. I think it's, the bugs are called tharps. <laughs> I could be wrong, but I don't know. So I have a few more tomatoes. These are a Blinkens. They're pretty good. I really like these. Um, I had a couple different ones. These are the yellow dead sunset ones. I believe I have picked a few. I had, what was over here? Over here, I had the Berkeley tie-dye pink. One of them I pulled out because again, after the crazy rains we've had, um, unfortunately they just were not good. And as you can tell, they, the bottoms and everything just looking sad. And then, yeah, so. <laughs> I stuck in a few of the volunteer, I believe these might be butternut squash, maybe, mm, I think it could be, so I just stuck them in here again. I felt bad, they were sitting in their pots, and I was like, you know what, this is empty space, let me 
put them in here if they grow great if not oh well and then same thing on this side i had some zucchini which i had to pull out because the squash bugs got to them and so i stuck in i believe another butternut squash we don't eat that much butternut squash but i had so many volunteers tears pop up and i had the space so i figured you know why not let's give it a chance if it doesn't grow it's fine and then i had beans over here too but the bunnies got to them so i think this is another moonflower that i had left over and put up here so it can grow some more of the lemon balm and this might be another squash i'm not sure but we'll see what happens so that is just a quick little overview the chickens are doing well let's go say hi Oh, I hate this mess. I can't wait to get it all cleaned up and pretty looking. Hi, girls. You want to say good morning? You want to say good morning? I feel bad. It rained, and so it's kind of not so nice. Ruby, you want to say good morning? Oh, hello. Hi, pretty girls. Hi. Say good morning. You have so much to say, huh? So much to say. Hi. They've been doing pretty well. No eggs yet, but I keep checking and hoping. Hopefully soon. Who's gonna give me the first egg? Huh? Who's gonna give me the first egg? 